Hello everyone, welcome to Tangle with Tracy Ann. In today's video, I'll be focusing on a tangle called Safflower, and it was designed by Sarah Fowler. You can see I've used some circular shaped objects to draw around here. 
If you don't have anything that's similar in size, just use a compass. I'm just putting an outline all the way around where I want the flowers to sit and it gives me a little bit of direction while I'm drawing the sat flowers. I'm using a Micron 01 pen here and I'm not sure if it's running out a little bit but I'm not all that happy with the thickness so I'm going to switch to a Micron PN and I like the look of that a lot better so I'll just quickly go over what I've drawn and move on. I'm going to use colour on this tile so I'll erase all the pencil lines. I'm going to colour the background using some watercolour paints and these are some pan paints by Winsor & Newton. I'm going to select colours from the brown range and here they are mixed up. So I'm going to attempt to do a wet on wet method. So first of all, I paint the areas I want paint on just with water. I haven't used this paper before, it works really well on other watercolour paper. And this is a hot pressed watercolour paper. So we'll see what happens using a it doesn't seem to be reacting the way I wanted it to be, but I'll get in there and add my paintbrush. And I've gone over the lines a little bit, so um, try and fix that, but it's not really working. So I'll go with it, and uh, it's looking like a bit of a hot mess at the moment. I'll just add a little bit of salt to it. And don't despair, take a deep breath, put it aside, and I'm going to trust the process, it'll work out in the end. Meanwhile, I've got some blue shades of watercolour pencil, and on another tile that I've already drawn, I'm going to randomly colour bits and evenly add colours so that they mix up. And the attempt is to get a mottled effect.
I'm going to activate this color using a water brush. So first of all, with some paper towel, I'll squeeze out some water and get the bristles nice and wet. Now I'm going to use circular motions and activate all that color. Now that it's dry, I'm using a Uniball eye pen and this is a blue and I'm just going to add the centre parts of each of those petals. Instead of using graphite, I've chosen to use one of these dark blue pastel pencils and I'm going to add the shading as if it was graphite. This can get really messy so it's a good idea to put a bit of paper underneath your hand so you don't smudge it too much. I'm now using a white charcoal pencil just to highlight the tips of those petals in each flower. I'm using this white Posca pen and it's a narrow nib, 0.7 millimeters, and just go around the end of each of those petals. A white gel pen would work just as well. I like this because it goes on really smoothly. To finish this off, I'm going to outline some areas with this Uniball Eye black pen. If the pastel pencils have created some smudges, they can easily be erased. And like you can see I'm using a Tombow Mono eraser here. I find it's really good for getting in small areas. I'm feeling a little bit more confident now I've done that. So back to my hot mess. <laughs> I've selected a sepia pastel pencil to do the shadows.
I'm quite happy with these results so it just goes to show never throw anything out I quite enjoy the challenge of fixing up mistakes no mistakes in Zentangle I feel that this blue one needs some darker shadows in the background so I'm using these colored pencils these are Arteza but it wouldn't matter what pencils you use and this is a gray dark gray so I'll use this and then also a dark blue and just add some of the shading there it is looking a little bit grainy uh, but I don't want to do layers upon layers of pencil so I'll show you how to get rid of that grain in a moment I have this zest pencil blend and I'm spraying it onto some cotton buds and getting my tortillon nice and moist with this solution and now go over the pencil making circular motions and it dissolves it and blends it into the background color quite nicely I'm often asked if I use anything to protect my tiles, especially the bookmarks. And so today I'm going to show you how to use a fixative spray. There's all kinds of brands on the market and I've only had experience with this particular one. I just brought it from an Australian retailer. This fixative is called Micador for Artists and it's a matte fixative to protect anything like chalk or chalk pencils. So make sure you're outside when you spray this. I do it one way and then go back and do it again and in another direction. So there you have the finished tiles. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up. I post every Wednesday so if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button and I'll see you here again next week. So until then stay safe and bye for now. If you'd like to see more of my videos head over to my YouTube channel or well, there are a couple of links here on the screen and while you're here press that subscribe button.